This is a presentation of the Moly Cheese family of networks. Hey guys, it's a beautiful day on the Moldy Cheese Soccer Network for a little FIFA 19 manager mode action. This is the career of Sir Isaac Shitterton, and we are in our first season with Oldham Athletic. We're going to jump into the Emirates FA Cup here. We're in the second round facing Exeter City FC. Exeter City is in our league, and they are undefeated at the very top of the table. They have not lost a game in about 14, 15 matches, something like that. So here we are in the sixth minute. Played into space for Rob Hunt. Rob Hunt is the left back. He uh, pushes it forward. Hunt back to Nepa Machino. Nepa Machino leaves it for Fane. Fane with the right foot. And he goes to the far side. Beautiful placement by Uzmani Fane. And Oldham Athletic strike first. So we're on the board against an undefeated team in our league. Trying to advance here in the Emirates FA Cup. This is Rob Hunt again on the left wing. Hunt back to the middle. This is Usmani Fane once again. Fane leaves it for Chris O'Grady. Chris, o uh, Chris O'Grady sends it to the right wing. Looking for right back Chad Dummigan. Dummigan back to Mohamed Maouche at the edge of the box. Maouche leaves it into the middle of the box. Back to Usmani Fane. Fane lines it up. Shot scores. Uzmani Fane. This is in the 12th minute. And we're not even a halfway through the first half against an undefeated Exeter City Club, and we're already up 2 0. Uzmani Fane with tallies in the 6th minute and the 12th minute. It is 2 0. We move ahead now to the second half. 49th, 50th minute. Mohamed Maouche on the right wing. Maouche to the middle to Baxter. Baxter at the edge of the box. Baxter playing a little bit with the defense. Here is Dummigan back to Baxter. Baxter is going to line it up, and it's deflected out of play. This will be a corner in the 51st minute. Jose Baxter set to take the corner in the middle of the box, and it's Usmani Fane who heads it down and in. And a hat trick in the Emirates FA Cup for Usmani Fane. Third goal of the game. This one comes in the 51st minute. We go on to beat Exeter City FC 3-1. I don't know if uh, the FA Cup was not a priority for Exeter City or if they uh, maybe had a scheduling conflict that left them tired or they were playing their uh, reserves. I don't know. what the Whatever the reason was or whatever the uh, cause, we beat Exeter City. And if this would have been a league game, it would have been Exeter City's first loss in league play. As it is, it's an FA Cup game. Exeter City is still undefeated in league play. Next up, we have Crew Alexandra. Crew Alexandra on the road. Pass taken away by Oldham Athletic here. To Baxter. Baxter out to the left side to Rob Hunt. Hunt to Usmani Fane. Fane with lots of space gets it ahead. Nepa Machino now going down the left wing. He's ahead of everybody. And Nepa Machino sends it across. Top of the box. And oh, we got a guy taken out in the box. And that has got to be a penalty. Not even close to playing the ball. Just tackles a guy in the box. And Javaro Nepa Machino is going to set up to take this penalty. 32nd minute. No score yet in the match. Here comes Nepa Machino off the post and in. Javaro Nepa Machino puts Oldham Athletic up 1 0 in the 32nd minute. That is his fifth goal in league play. Comes in the 32nd minute via penalty shot. And now, Crew Alexandra in minute number 67, set to take a corner from the far side to the middle of the box. And it is headed down and out. I think it's going to be another corner. Uh, no, it is not. It was a goal kick. If it was a corner, I would have showed it to you. So, 87th minute. We're still leading 1-0. Here is Crew Alexandra. Nice defensive play there by, I believe that was uh, Rob Hunt. Back to the middle now. This is long. Ahead to Gardner. Dan Gardner leaves it for Bentike. Bentike's shot is wide. Bentike up at the top of the box. Came in as a substitute in this match. 90th minute now. Let's see if that near miss is costly for Oldham Athletic. Here comes Crew Alexandra. 
on the right side, leaving it into space. Across and headed in by Crew Alexandra. And that is Porter that scores. And that is going to tie the match up at one apiece. Chris Porter, his third goal of the season. And now, in the 92nd minute of a five-minute stoppage time, here comes Crew Alexandra again. Another score would give them the victory. And this one is out of play. And a quick throw by Crew Alexandra. This is Lowry. Lowry leaves it for Ralty. Ralty over to Green. Green shot off the post. And out of play for a goal kick. So Crew and Oldham Athletic battled to a 1-1 draw. And that was definitely a three points that we let slip away. We do manage to get one point for the tie. A 1-1 one -one score. That, by the way, was the first match for newcomer um, Asperopotamitis that we signed. Actually, no, it wasn't. I'm sorry. Asperopotamitis has been with us for a while. My bad. Uh, we're, we're going to get into a youth squad signing here. This is Mercy Ely. And we do have an injury to deal with. Uh, Sam Surridge is actually cleared to return from an injury he suffered earlier in the season. So it'll be good to have Sam Surridge back at the top. One of our uh, best strikers. And we get ready to face Barry. There's Asperopotamitis. He's been with our club for a good portion of the season. He came over early in the first transfer window. And we are in the early going of this match. Oldham Athletic in the blue and white trunks. Burry is in the white tops and the blue trunks. The inverse of Oldham Athletic. All right, here is Daniel Iverson. Iverson, the goalkeeper, is going to push it ahead. And uh, ball is going back and forth a little bit. Here is Barry. Barry leaves it for Mayer. And the shot scored on the ground. A nice shot from the top of the box by Barry. And in the eighth minute, they jump out to a one to nothing lead. That is Jermaine Beckford. Four goals so far in the EFL League Two season. Let's see if we can get an equalizer here. Here comes Oldham Athletic. This is Doofus. Doofus. Pushing it ahead is going to pop it over the top towards uh, Christopher Missaloo. Missaloo. Looking to center it into the box. Headed on and in. And it is Javaro Nepomachino. Man, that guy is a goal-scoring machine. Six goals in EFL League 2. Him, Usmani Fain, and Chris O'Grady have been our uh, best goal scorers. Jose Baxter right there as well. And Sam Surridge, if he hasn't been, hadn't been injured so often, would probably be up there as well. And here comes Barry. Match all tied up at one. Played ahead to uh, Dagnall. Back to Beckford. Beckford shot scores. I believe that was Beckford. I have such a hard time seeing the names on my screen. They are so little. And it looks like it was not Beckford. It was Mayer. And Mayer beats Daniel Iverson on the at the near post. For the go-ahead strike. Danny Mayer, first goal of the season for him. Comes in the 32nd minute. It's 2-1 Barry in the first half. We move ahead to the second half now. Still 2-1 Barry. This is Dumigan on the right side. I know my players better. The opponent's players, I just can't read their names very well. Unless it's uh, you know, a very common name. Here comes Usmani Fain. Usmani Fain with way too much space deep in the box. And, man, he just mishits that one. He wishes he had that one back. That should have been a goal. Here is Adams all alone on the right side. Adams chips it towards the box. And the defense is just not even there. No reaction whatsoever by the man that should have been marking. Jermaine Beckford. That's the second goal of the game for Jermaine Beckford. And Barry goes on to win it 3-2. to two. Despite being outshot 19-11. to 11, 
And uh, we had 59% possession time in that match. Five corners. And Barry earned three corners. So final score from uh, the home of Oldham Athletic is 3-2. to two. Barry, all right, final match of this episode. It's a rematch of that FA Cup where Exeter City, you can see they have 12 wins and nine draws now. So they have now played 21 matches without a single loss in league play. So this is a very good club, and they are probably ticketed for promotion. Um, I, don't, I can't remember if I have mentioned this before in this episode, but the uh, there's there will be four teams promoted from EFL League 2 to EFL League 1, and the top three teams in the table get automatic promotion. And that fourth team that will be promoted comes from a four-team playoff in teams four through seven. So, so uh, teams four, five, six, and seven will have a four-team playoff to determine the final team that is promoted to the next league here in uh, EFL League 2 to EFL League 1. As you see, Exeter City gets on the board first. It's 1-0. And that is their first lead against Oldham Athletic. I was just hoping that maybe we had their number and could maybe hand them their first loss. Still plenty of time to do so, though. We're in the first half. Here's Oldham Athletic. This is Nepomuchino sending it across to Maush into the middle of the box, and it's batted away by the goalkeeper. It's still loose. This is Usmani Fain. Fain with the defender on his back, looking to send it over to the right corner of the box. This is Jose Baxter. Baxter into the middle. Baxter looking. Back to Usmani Fain. Fain tees it up. Shot scores. Usmani Fain knots it up at one, and we are all tied up with the top of the table, Exeter City. What a win this would be to finish off this episode if we could get it. Sending Exeter City to their first defeat of the season here at home. The home fans appreciate it. And it is all tied up at one. Let's see. Heck, I would even take a draw. Exeter City does have nine draws, though, so far this season. But they have zero losses. It would be great to be that team that hands them their first loss of the year. Usmani Fain with the goal in the 33rd minute. That's his third goal in EFL League 2. And here comes Exeter City. This is Holmes to Sweeney. Sweeney back to Holmes. Back to the middle. This is Tilson. Tilson pushes it ahead. Forte and Forte scores. Forte gets loose deep inside the box. And in the 60th minute, Exeter City takes the lead. This is Jonathan Forte. Eight goals in EFL League 2. And now let's see if we can get on the board to try to force a draw here late in stoppage time. 93rd minute of three minutes of stoppage time. Here's Doofus. Doofus leaves it out to Gardner. Gardner in space. Gardner tees it up. Shot deflected out of play for a corner. And this might be the last chance for Oldham Athletic. This corner could be it as we are past the three-minute stoppage time mark. This is Nepa Machino sending it into the box. It's an out swinger, and it is headed through. And then it is possessed by Exeter City, and the three whistles sound. And that is the match. Exeter City with another win. This time 2-1 to one over Oldham Athletic, and we can't repeat the magic that we had in that FA Cup Appearance where we beat Exeter City 3-1. to one. So a 2-1 win, Exeter City FC. They outshoot us 16-8. to eight. We had five shots on target of our eight, 56% possession. Let's look at the table here. Exeter City with 48 points is the top. Colchester United, second. Lincoln City, third. Those three teams would be your automatic qualifiers for promotion and then Cambridge United at four Knotts County at five Swindon Town at six and MK Dons at seven would have a four-team playoff to decide the fourth team that is promoted from EFL League Two and you see we are down at number 13 we are at 30 points uh MK Dons is seventh at 35 points so it's anybody's anybody uh is still in the playoff on Newport County is probably uh Newport County, Grimsby Town, Barry, Macclesfield, anybody, uh, even Macclesfield and Stevenage at 26 points are still in the playoff hunt for promotion. So that is 
The Career of Sir Isaac Shitterton, episode number seven, here on the Moldy Cheese Soccer Network.